guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Dance Diamonds by Shakira. This perfume came out this year, 2017, and is the second dance fragrance by Shakira, um, which was a whole new pillow that was started by her last year. Um, the box looks like this, and it says Dance, Shakira, and then Diamonds down here. On the bottom, it says Eau de Toilette Natural Spray 80 milliliters, 2.7 fluid ounces. Um, it's kind of got this gradient design to it, and it's also kind of uh, holographic, almost. Size of the box are both the same. On the back, we have an ad of Shakira, uh, with this kind of uh, jewelry dangling off of her, um, and kind of like a sequined top. And then you've got the traditional Shakira S on top. Your bottle, even though that was weird. Anyway, bottle looks like this this time. And it is a frosted blue glass, and then you have these, like, um, almost, if I can get this to focus on it, that would be wonderful. You got these kind of, like, teardrops right here that want to flow around and not do what I want them to do. Anyway, um, but it's the same bottle design that we got last year with the first dance, which looks like this, maybe. These necklaces are interesting, just tell you first off. Um, same bottle design, same bottle shape. All that fun jazz, it's just this one is now frosted and has these diamonds on it while the old one didn't. This one is very, very different um, from anything that Shakira has done, but at the same time, it's still in that same family, if that makes sense. With this one, you get top notes of bergamot, raspberry cord, and pink pepper. Middle notes are freesia, orange blossom, peony, and violet leaf, with base notes of sandalwood, amber, and musk. Um, and... I'm not a huge fan of this one. I will tell you that straight off the bat. But I don't hate it. Um, and the only reason I'm not a huge fan of it because it's in that kind of like clean category that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, but even then, there's some notes in there that I do like with making it a little bit better for me. So when you first spray it, definitely you're getting that pink pepper and the bergamot. Um, they're definitely the more prominent notes of this fragrance and they're really kind of stand out there. The raspberry um, that's in here, it's weird. Because when I wore this a couple times, it almost the raspberry almost smelled like crystal light, which is really weird and I don't understand it, but it wasn't like super smacking. It was just kind of like this weird synthetic-y raspberry note that was kind of there the entire time. Um, but it's definitely very bergamot -y and very pink peppery when it first opens, but it's very, very, very aquatic. So this fragrance, initially, when it first was kind of, like, announced or leaked or whatever, was supposed to be called Dance Under the Rain. I don't know why they changed the name, but I wish they would have kept it, because I do really like Dance Under the Rain, and it does fit this fragrance really well, because it is extremely aquatic, extremely clean, it's very fresh. Um, it's a very strong fragrance in, like, how it projects and like when people smell it but the composition of the fragrance is very light so it's very airy um but strong in like the scent of it if that makes sense um as it starts to dry down though that heart is definitely where you're getting a lot of these notes you're definitely getting the freesia the orange blossom and the violet leaf the the peony is there and it's a little bit different in this fragrance than it's done in other fragrances but it's not completely out there I just feel like the other florals are kind of amping it up a little bit more than the peony is. I know peony generally kind of take over fragrances sometimes, but this one is done very well. It's very light, um, and if anything, the peony, when you smell it, gives it kind of a more floral. But you definitely can pick out the peony. I feel like with the four, the four floral heart notes, you can smell all four of them. You definitely can smell the freesia, definitely can smell the orange blossom, definitely can smell the violet, and you can definitely smell the peony. But I definitely feel like the orange blossom, the freesia, and the... Um, Violet Leaf, I don't know why I couldn't think of that, um, are definitely more prominent than the peony is. As it starts to dry down, though, I'm definitely getting more sandalwood and a little bit of musk than I am the amber. The amber just lightly warms up the base of the fragrance um, and kind of gives it a good base, if that makes sense. Um, but you're really getting more sandalwood and musk than you are getting that. But the florals in the heart definitely are the powerhouse of this fragrance. Um, in my opinion, it is definitely her most, most 
mature floral fragrance. I'm not saying it's super mature at all, but it's out of the florals that she has done, this is definitely on the more mature side. Um, lasting power, I got about eight hours of lasting power on it, which is kind of normal for Shakira's fragrances. Um, they last a long time for them being eau de toilette, and that's just because they're created in such a great way. I love the Shakira fragrance line, even though she's popping them out left and right, which I love. Um, because there's two new rocks that recently, not too long ago, a couple months ago, got announced. Um, the Rock the Parties, Crazy Lilac, and Daring Pink. I haven't been able to get my hands on those. I was able to get my hands on the Summer Rocks from last year. As you guys saw, I did reviews of those. But I'm still trying to get my hands on the Rock the Parties. So if anybody happens to know where they can get the Rock the Parties and they want to contact me um, and help me get it, that'd be wonderful. But Dance Diamonds is currently available. I've seen it on eBay. Mine was sent to me from Portugal. But it it's a really, really, really good fragrance. And if you like Shakira's fragrances, I'm sure you'll like this one. Um... If you don't like fresh and clean fragrances, this isn't one I would blind buy. Unless you can get it for relatively cheap, which I know, like, after about a year of the fragrance being out with Shakira, you can generally get them relatively cheap. Um, but if you like clean fragrances, you like floral fragrances, I definitely think you'll like this one. It's definitely perfect for the time of year. It's definitely very springy and summery. Definitely summery and that kind of clean, aquatic aspect of it. Um... So, yeah. Um, not a whole lot with this fragrance, though. It does change from the heart, or from the top to the heart. But once you get into the heart, the base really kind of just adds to the heart. Um, the, the heart really doesn't ever go away in this fragrance, which I do like. And it's kind of a little bit different than some of her other fragrances. Because um, some of her fragrances do have that kind of stage where you get the top, and then you get the heart, and then you get the base. This one doesn't really have that one. This one definitely has a top that will dissipate into the heart, but the heart is definitely there the entire fragrance, um, which I really, really like, because you don't see that done very a lot. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A.S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Um, also, visit my website, AmongTheStarsPerfume.com. New stuff always can get posted there. I'm still trying to figure out everything with that one, uh, but stay tuned, because there will be more information coming on that. Hopefully, we'll get any more stuff on there soon. So, um, stay tuned, though. There will be a surprise review within the next week. I'm not quite sure when it will be, um, but there will be a surprise review coming soon. Um, I've also got some other tricks up my sleeve for you guys that I can't wait to share with you guys. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow, or, er, I already did that part. Anyway, as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.